Hey, how's it going? We're going to be looking at something today called exponent rules. Okay, so the first thing is uh, sorry if you hear a little slip. Let's see here. There we go. The zipper of my jacket was rubbing on the microphone, so you probably heard some kind of strange sound going on. But anyway, here we are with exponent rules. Let's see. Now, this whole thing right here is called a power right here. See the 2 to the 3? just want to quickly tell you what these parts are called. Okay? So I will drag them over here. Um, the 2 right here, this is called the base. And if you remember, this is called an exponent right here. The little 3 is called an exponent. And if you remember, um, well, first of all, this entire thing right here is, is called a power. But anyway, hopefully you remember that 2 to the power of 3, which is one way you could say it, or 2 exponent 3, is really, I mean, yes, the answer is 8, as you can see right here. But really, the answer, the answer can be found by saying, well, 2 to the power of 3 really means 2 times 2 times 2. You're timesing 2, or you're multiplying 2, 3 times. 2 times 2 times 2. And that's how you come up with the 8. Okay? So that is the, that's basically what a power is. It's got a base, a base and an exponent. Okay? And the whole thing's called a power. Alright. So let's start with our first rule that we're going to talk about. Exponent law for multiplication. So if you look at this thing here, it says, first of all, look at the green. Okay, the green is there on purpose. The green is to show you that the base is the same. So in other words, the same number for the base and then different exponents. So x and y count for different exponents. Okay, and I see a mistake here actually. That should not be a plus sign there. That should not be a plus sign at all. What that should be is a minus sign. I mean, sorry, a multiplication sign. How can I make a multiplication sign? I'm going to have to use I'm going to have to use my pen. In math, uh multiplication usually is with an x. But in this case here, I don't really want an x because an x is going to be confusing. So in math, multiplication can be done with a circle or like a little dot, okay? So a to the exponent x times a to the exponent y is equal to a x plus y. Let me show you with an example because sometimes an example is like a picture of a thousand words. So let's say we had 3 squared okay times there's our dot 3 squared times now remember the base is the same so we have to have the 3's the same. Okay 3 squared plus times 3 to the let's say to the third power. 3 exponent 3. Well, there's two ways you could do this question. Okay? There's two ways you could do the question. You could you could go, if you watch my graphing calculator, let's try to turn that on here. There we go. Hit clear. You could go 3 squared, 3 exponent 2, which is 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 exponent 3, let's do that, 3 exponent 3, I know it's 27, but whoops, 3 exponent 3 is 27, okay, so 3 exponent 3 is 27, 3 squared is 9, and if you times them, let's do that, 9 times 27 is 243. Okay? Well, there is a way. That's one way of doing this. There's another way, though. You're looking at the exponent law for multiplication. What you can see here is that if the base is the same, and if you're multiplying, which is what's going on here, all you have to do is add the exponents. So you go 2 plus 3 and you end up getting, what's 2 plus 3? Well, you get 3 exponent 5. Okay? And if you want to verify that, if you want to verify that I'm not lying to you, 
just go on your calculator 3 a exponent 5 look at that you get 243 which is the same answer we did here okay so there's you know two different ways to do these kinds of questions but knowing the exponent law is really nice and easy because going 3 exponent 5 was much quicker than doing all this work down here okay so this was the easier way to go okay let's try one more question and see if you can do it uh, let's see 4 exponent 5 times 4 exponent 3 let's just do this the quick way well all you do if you're simplifying now if you're simplifying you're just going 4 exponent what's 5 plus 3 I'll just show all the steps here you don't have to show these steps here if you don't want to but it's just 4 exponent 8 okay that is now simplified if the book says to evaluate evaluate means what is the actual answer what is 4 exponent 8 just like over here this was simplifying and this was evaluating okay so we've simplified let's evaluate 4 exponent 8 4 exponent 8 it rhymes evaluate 4 exponent 8 oh my goodness Six, sixty-five thousand five hundred and thirty-six. Six five five three six. Six five five three six. we have now evaluated and over here we simplified there's no need to do this question two different ways. There's no need to go 4 exponent 5, get the answer, 4 exponent 3, and then do all of that work. You're going to get the same answer, because you trust me, right? It happened up here. Okay, that is the exponent law for multiplication. We've got two more little laws to look at here, so let's move on. <clears throat> the exponent law for division. And here it is. The rule is, according to what we see right here, the rule is that if you take again something with a power with the same base okay the base is the same and you're dividing instead of adding the exponents you subtract the exponents okay let's try this for real let's say we had 5 mm, cubed divided by 5 to the exponent 1 which is just a 5 okay what would that be well according to this law right here all you have to do is go 5 3 minus 1 just subtract the exponents and you end up getting 5 squared we have now simplified it okay it is now simplified if it says evaluate then that really means just go 5 times itself 5 times 5 and that's 25 okay if you didn't know the exponent law for division, you would take this and go, hmm, 5 times 5 times 5, that's 125. And 5 to the exponent 1 is really just 5. Then you would take your calculator and go 125 divided by 5. And sure enough, you'd get the same answer that we got over here. So this is two different ways to do this question. But this way here is the exponent laws, which will do it much more neatly. Okay? even though this doesn't look too bad down here. All right, so that's the exponent law for division. Uh, not sure if I should show you other examples. I, I could show you one more example. Um, let's say you had 5 to the negative 2. Believe it or not, that's possible. Over 5 to the, uh, let's say, negative Four. Okay. Well, remember, according to the exponent laws, you just subtract the exponents. So it's five to the negative two minus negative four. Okay. Now remember, when you're subtracting and you have two minus signs, you add the opposite, or you just change the signs there. They become a positive. And negative two plus four, you end up getting five squared. Okay and by fluke that ends up being 25 just like the last question but I'm just showing you an example here what happens when there's a negative in the exponent we're gonna talk about negative in the exponent and what that means in probably the next lesson or coming very soon okay for now we're just basically saying oh we have to subtract whatever we have here okay and then we get the answer and that's the exponent law for division
All right, let's move on to our last one. This one's called the power of a power. So if you get a base and an exponent, then some brackets, and another exponent, what you do is you times these two. You times the x and the y. I'll show you an example. Here we go. Let's say you had 5 to the exponent 2, and then in brackets, on the outside, you had another exponent, 3. Okay? You could do this a long way. If you did it the long way, you'd say 5 squared is 25, and 25 cubed, if you took your graphing calculator, 25 cubed is 15625. 15625. And I'm going to push pause here for a second because the student wants to talk to me, right, Lisa? Okay. Okay, where was I? Uh, I just had to give a reference for Tim Hortons. That's exciting. The student was going to go get a job there. That's good. Okay. <laughs> so, according to the rule, instead of having to do it this way, what you would what you would do is you would just go 5 exponent 2 exponent 3. Really what you do is with those two exponents is you go 2 times 3, which is really 5 exponent 6. Okay, you multiply the exponents. So 5 exponent 6, if you do that on your calculator, come on calculator, okay, 5 exponent 6, Sure, did, sure enough. 15625. There we go. And that is the answer. Okay? So that's how you do power of a power. Let's do one more question just to show you. Uh, let's say you had. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I, it erased everything. I had something out here. Okay. Okay, so what we do, now that I have it back to normal, let's say we had 3 exponent 4 and then another exponent uh, 2. All you do is you multiply these two together and if you want to do it quicker, you don't have to show all your work. You can just go, okay, that's 3 exponent 8. Why is it 8? Because you go 4 times 2. You multiply these two. Then on your calculator, now remember we have simplified. If it says evaluate, then you go 3 exponent 8 and you get 6561. 6561. Six, here we have evaluated and here we have simplified. Okay, and that's probably enough information for this particular topic. Alright, good luck on the worksheet.